sister wives, Peden, Gwendolyn and other brown kids have a rough road ahead, will they be okay? I will explain everything, watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my shocking news channel. Amid tragedy, the brown kids must try to move on. Before Garrison passed away, all of them were adjusting to a new broken home dynamic. Sister wives star Peden Brown's tangled with many Brown family members, including his sister Gwendolyn Brown, and they may have tough times ahead, their siblings could be in the same boat. The family's dynamic has changed so much since three wives left Cody, the broken home was something that made Garrison Brown sad before he passed away on March 5, 2024. The other Brown kids are mourning his passing, and also dealing with the broken home issue. There's a lot for the Brown kids to process, whether they're children, teens or adults. Sister Wives Season 18 showed a family in turmoil. Resentment that had been building for years hit a crisis point. Christine Brown decided to leave and seemed to be totally at peace with her decision. Janelle and Cody Brown were fighting. She felt abandoned during the COVID-19 pandemic and worried about her kids. Mary Brown was getting tired of being the most ignored wife but she never actually yelled at Cody or anything like that. The children absorbed this pain, and some of them had issues with their father and Robin Brown too. Peden and Cody are very different, but once in a while, they act the same way. Both have egos, both are bombastic, and both tend to lash out rather than seeing their roles in things. The difference is that Cody's the parent and Peden's the child, that's a big and very important difference. The parent is supposed to rise above. A father is supposed to keep his temper, look at the bigger picture, and do everything that it takes to maintain a bond with his child. When kids reach their teens and beyond, this can be a tall order. Peden and Cody clashed and they're currently estranged. It's probably time for these two to come together and work things out. Parent-child bonds are precious, but they can be fragile. However, right now, neither seems to know how to fix what's wrong. Everyone's grieving, it's such a delicate time. Cody and Peden may choose to remain silent, keeping their cold war going. In the past, this battle got shockingly heated. In the past, Peden said, his dad wasn't a proper man of the house. He also alleged that Cody didn't get vaccinated against COVID-19. These statements probably really upset his father. As for Peden, he may feel neglected because he's not one of Robin's children. A lot of the brown kids feel that way, they've said so on screen. Now, with Garrison gone, there is so much sadness. Peden and Cody need to try rather than attacking each other in the press and on screen. It's time to make things better. If they don't try, they will live to regret it. These estrangements change lives for the worse. It's unnatural for a parent not to speak to their child, or hug them, or spend time with them. This type of emotional and physical distance will act on the father and son in so many subconscious ways. It will hurt them both until the rift is repaired. If it isn't, it's one more thing that both of them will have to live with. Peden gets to Cody by putting down Robin. He mocked her tendency to burst into tears in the same interview, saying that if her eyeshadow doesn't run, she's got the best eyeshadow in the world. He thinks she acts like she has major problems when she's got it easy. So many of the kids have issues with Cody that are linked with Robin. There are a lot of tensions running through the Brown family, pulling it apart. Robin is at the center of the storm. Peden says the sweetest things about his mom, Christine. He obviously adores her and feels very safe and loved when he's with her. Christine is a natural nurturer. She's the kind of mother who bakes delicious treats and keeps the home looking fabulous, while also being a fun buddy and a great shoulder to cry on. According to Peden, as per the John Yates interview, Christine has no faults and is a saint. When one parent is perceived as a saint and the other is considered a villain, it's not good. What can be done? Honest communication without anger will be the best way to mend fences. Cody, who's often perceived as a villain, needs to set aside his differences with his son. What would be most helpful would be having some fun together. However, right now, both are deep in grief. Later on, when a bit of healing has happened, it might be possible for them to improve their relationship. Sister wives Gwendolyn Brown also has issues, she's argued with Peden and Cody. 
She isn't exactly thrilled with either of them. She keeps her distance but Gwendolyn has been quite blistering about both in the past. She thinks Peden's a bad person. Yes, she's said as much publicly. She's called him out for racism and more, painting him as a boor who needs to grow up. As for Cody, she thinks he squanders his money and at YouTube, Gwendolyn mocks him and Robin. Things are bad, and Gabriel and Savannah Brown have also been affected by their problems with their father. However, they don't put him down as much. They're just sad because, during the pandemic, they didn't get to see him. All the kids are processing the death of a sibling and that's extremely traumatic. They're also carrying pain based on years of issues. Polygamy may not be the best situation for families, it's illegal in many places and there could be logical reasons why it's not permitted. In plural marriages, wives jockey for position, trying to curry favor with the king, the patriarch. Kids also be why for attention, competing with each other and the wives. Who aren't their mothers? A patriarch only has so much time, energy and money to go around. Sister wives kids have suffered sometimes but also had good times. They've had dizzying highs and lows that played out in front of millions of viewers. Now, the brown children must move forward, they have to rebuild. It won't be easy, but hopefully, they can build bridges to Cody. If they do make peace with him, it will change the sister wives dynamic. While there's been so much heartbreak, there's always hope. Cody and his kids will need to dig deep, searching for a sense of forgiveness. That's what's needed now. How the sister wives family plans on keeping the late Robert Garrison Brown's legacy alive after news of his tragic passing in March 2024. Sister Wives stars have discovered a unique way to honor Robert Garrison Brown following the tragic news of his passing. Garrison died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound and was found at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona, on March 5, 2024. Garrison was the son of Janelle and Cody Brown and was 25 years old when he died. Janelle broke the news of her son's death on social media while asking fans to remember him. Garrison has been a part of the reality TV show since it first aired in 2010. Garrison was a staff sergeant in the Army National Guard. The Sister Wives cast has figured out a special way to keep Garrison Brown's legacy alive after his recent death. The Sun reported Bob's floral. LLC is still active and is in good standing. A source has revealed that Garrison's family plans to carry on Garrison's strategy with his clothing company. Garrison opened his own shop called Bob's Floral in 2019. Garrison sold Hawaiian shirts, dresses, and swimwear with Bob's Floral. Their half-sleeved button-up shirts with patch pockets and colorful tropical prints on them were their most popular product. The brand's prices ranged from $19 to $25. Garrison used to promote Bob's Floral on Facebook and Instagram. He joked that the clothes were handcrafted by Tanzanian field mice in my basement. Despite the brand's fun identity, Garrison had to temporarily pause the shop in 2020. Garrison's opening plan was big, but he was aware that it would need time to be executed, especially, so his Hawaiian-style shirts could be made in America. However, Garrison was depressed and was unhappy in the days leading up to his passing and he wasn't doing much with his business, since he wasn't feeling like he was having any success. Garrison's family has started discussing how they will try to keep Garrison's legacy alive. Garrison's brothers are interested in carrying on some of his dreams. Moreover, Garrison's family is also working on creating a foundation for him. The foundation is supposed to focus on saving animals since it was a cause close to Garrison's heart. Some of Garrison's family members, such as Hunter Brown, Robin Brown, Christine Brown, and Leon Brown, wore Hawaiian patterns to his memorial service, where Garrison was honored by the Nevada National Guard. Garrison's dad chose not to wear a colorful Hawaiian shirt to the ceremony because he was in mourning. Garrison and Cody had never made up, even before Garrison's unexpected death. They reportedly hadn't spoken to each other since the COVID-19 pandemic. Cody's role as a father is under scrutiny on social media. Sister wives fans are slamming Cody on social media for not having given Garrison enough love and attention during his lifetime. While there were times when Cody could have been a better father, it remains to be seen how he contributes to the revival of Bob's floral.
Over the years, Sister Wives Patriarch Cody Brown has had good times and bad times with his 18 children. Cody is mourning the tragic loss of his son, Garrison Brown, who died by suicide in March. When the series premiered in 2010, Cody lived with his three wives and 12 children in a large house in Utah. The Browns had hoped to present the image of a happy plural family, to contrast all the ugly images that were always present in the media. Despite their noble intentions, by the time Sister Wives season 18 finale dropped, Cody's first three wives had left him, and he was no longer speaking to several of his adult children. The Brown family changed forever when Cody married his fourth wife, Robin Brown, and incorporated her and her three children from her previous marriage into their already massive clan, they would go on to have two children together. Things got more complicated when the Browns left Utah and moved into four separate homes in Las Vegas, further taxing Cody's time. When it became clear Cody favored his new wife, it became impossible for his other wives, and the family slowly unraveled. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it divided the sister wives' family further and triggered Cody's feud with his older children. Sadly, Garrison wasn't on good terms with his father at the time of his death, as they'd been feuding since the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of Cody's older kids, including Garrison, weren't able to follow Cody and Robin's strict COVID rules and were, therefore, not allowed to see their father. The separation was painful for everyone involved, and the family wasn't able to reunite after the pandemic ended. During their separation, the family tried to stay in touch via Zoom calls, like the one posted by YouTube account Tough Topic, but it was never the same as being in the same room together. In the clip, Cody talks about feeling paranoid because his sons resented him for his viral mitigation rules. After Christine divorced Cody, the family started spending holidays apart for the first time, which was a watershed moment for the clan. I want to hate you for sharing the good times. But I can't. I miss these days, was shared in a group text by Garrison. He had been responding to a paintball fight photo. Additionally, he let someone from his job know that he had been vomiting blood. He claimed he was taking himself to the clinic and calling out of work. Janelle also checked in with her son, saying he had been on her mind all day. Garrison Brown admitted he was not and knew that they worried about his suicidal tendencies. More so, he had given Gabe his pistons and claimed to not have any firearms in his home. Janelle offered help. In one message exchange, Janelle Brown offered to send an Uber for Garrison Brown. She told him she had a cot for him to sleep in and she would make sure he got there if he needed it. Finally, she asked her sons, Logan and Hunter Brown to check in on Garrison as she was worried. She explained how he was responding to her but stopped how he had scared some of the family with an odd text, and had called out of work. They tried but, unfortunately, it was not enough. Since Sister Wives star Christine Brown married David Woolley last year, fans have wondered when she would stop using the name, Brown. Some thought that she may keep the name since that's the name by which the public knows her. However, others thought it was inappropriate to keep Cody's last name after marrying David but it seems that Christine finally got around to legally changing her name. Christine Brown married David Woolley in a beautiful ceremony about six months ago. Of course, TLC taped the event and aired it for fans. Naturally, Cody Brown seemed incredibly bothered his ex-wife was already remarried. He begrudgingly expressed his congratulations to the happy couple. Anyone who has gotten married and changed their name knows it can sometimes be quite the process. It seems that Christine never intended to keep the name, Brown. She just hadn't quite gotten around to taking all the necessary steps yet. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.